Can we keep it real? Let's keep it all the way real. People think that we live in Zion, but we really live in the Matrix. People think that we live in some fake bubble gum. Oh, everything is fair. It's just about your talent world when no, it's not. We don't live in a fair world. So let's keep this all the way three that. Okay, so look, <laughs> let me just start by saying this, you know, whenever I just hear people like um, a Jenny Slate say, you know, this is against, you know, um, this is um, my white supremacy, I'm not using my privilege and everything. I can't even read because I don't know, it's like, I know it's coming from a good place, but it just seems very tiresome now because it seems as if there's like this sheet that everybody reads from that I couldn't, I didn't believe that I would had my white supremacy. I can't believe I was doing this with my privilege. And this is my chance to help you little black people and help you little black girls to come through. And me as a white person, I'm a devil. I'm hor it's like, okay, yeah, we, we just step away from it. Say, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have voiced it. I right, cool. Some black person voiced it. Boom. I don't, I don't need to hear a whole spiel. So that's just there. Please don't pander to anyone. But this is this. This is because, like, I wanted to first form this and really um, crystallize this before I did this video because I was thinking about it. So, wait a minute, what's the angle? What's the angle? What's the angle? I got the angle. So, it's this. So, let's just start with people's response to it, which is fair. It's voice acting. It's voice acting. So, there shouldn't be any race or color with voice acting. If you're good, within a voice, and if you have the right voice, or if you're talented, do it. There are many guys that can do like a multitude of voices, and I'm sure like um, this is a very good actor, Stephen Root. Superb, he can do multiple dialects. Gary Oldman, look at look at Gary Oldman in, um, what's it called? Uh, where he plays Drexel, True Romance, True Romance. Completely changed his, his voice. So people saying that's like, no, it should just be about the quality of the voice actor. That's a fair thing. But we don't live in a fair world. See, if we lived in, in a utopia where there was no racism, we were all equal. We we're not judged by a color. We we're not judged by how tall or how short we were. We were all fully equal. Then it would then it wouldn't matter with whites, black. <laughs> that doesn't matter. But the issue is that people saying that why should it matter what the race of the person is are coming from an experience where. There, they feel and believe that hey, we live in a world where there, there's there's no racism. Why should this be an issue? And I always say that you know, whenever people make these statements, you have to understand that you're coming from an experience where you've not lived the experience of, let's say, a black person or a minority. You see, when living the experience of a, of a majority as opposed to a minority are two very different things. So I completely understand from the point of view from a someone of the majority and i'm somebody who's very much into the arts where i just want the best person for the for the job so for someone in the majority like who cares what the race of the person is it's all cool what's what whatever is the point and this is the way they bring issues like this um so you have this chief thing, and this is actually why he was even trending Denzel jones for me, as I always said, look, Star Wars is, is, is overrated. It's overrated. It's, it should be about samurai. It should be serious and everything. It ain't that great. Um, but th for me, the best character in Star Wars, the best thing about Star Wars is James Earl Jones. That's the best thing about Star Wars. With that and the, and, and, and the lightsabers, those are the best few things. No one cares about Han Solo. No one, no one cares about that dude. He's, 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 he's just a, a, a pilot from the freaking road. All the, only, the only good, the best thing about Star Wars is this, is this dude right here. You know, um, James L. Jones, and it's like for George Lucas, it's like no, I'm not going to get like a white guy to do his role, even if he's so technically supposed to be white because he's the, the we all know he's the father of the So, but he, Lucas was like, no, I'm just going to get the best dude for the voice. I think he originally wanted Orson Welles, but I don't know why that fell through. But he originally wanted Orson Welles, and it's a great thing that they chose James L. Jones because Darth Vader is one of the greatest characters of all time. And the reason why Darth Vader is amazing is because of James L. Jones, because that is the voice that he does and how he characterizes the voice is amazing. So, and then people then obviously come to this to do it again. And this is actually a series that I I, I, I want to watch, which is 
and Samurai Jack, Phil Lamar, who was in Pulp Fiction, if some of you like film trivia, he was in Pulp Fiction. Try and see whether you can um, find out where he is. But yeah, people say, wait a minute, Phil Lamar, he's black. Again, voicing another white character. So what's the, the deal? But this is where things get slightly dicey. This is where things get slightly dicey because, again, um, you have to, and see, this is another key example here. This dude. So, and this is where, this is the angle that I'm coming from here. So I think this is Cleveland or something, because I, I don't watch Family Guy that much, but like, I will just watch it from time to time. So Cleveland, he's just a black guy, voiced by a white voice actor. And the thing here is this. If you're white, and you find out a white guy is voiced by a black voice actor, does that really bother you? Should that really bother you? But then if you're black and you see a black guy voiced by a white character and he's trying to do a black voice, this now goes into that whole nigger minstrel stuff and the blackface stuff and white guys trying to mimic black people, which is why I've always had issues with Cleveland, the character, where it's like, uh, you're now trying to mimic the voice of a black guy and so forth. Oh, this now goes back to whenever you're in those circles and you're the only black guy and you're with white people, that one white guy will come and just say, hey, man, you, man, and almost start talking black. Or but say, hey, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. It goes to those, those areas. So because you have to realize that you can't have an issue. You being white, a white character being voiced, voiced by a, a black guy, you can't, you can't have that issue. You can't have that. It's, it's, it just it, it just doesn't come come through. Um, but if you have a situation where it's a, a black character, so we say I'm black, it's a black character voiced by a, a white guy. First of all, is most of the voice acting jobs goes to white people. That's a fact because whites are the majority. That's that's fair. And let's just be real. If you're white, you will you write from experience. The whole point of art is you draw on experience. And most white people don't have much experience with black people. So it makes sense that most of the stuff that you see within cartoons or so forth are white because it's white people drawing from their experience, which is fair. You know, it's like, I'm not going to, if I was going to make up something, I'm, I'll make something that is something Nigerian, something African or something to do with black people mainly. And a few whites because that's that's just the experience I I, 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 I draw from. So, and so, so, so the fact of the matter is, you first of all don't have those many black characters in most of these cartoons. You don't have them in most of these cartoons. That's that's even to, to, to begin with. So the fact that you don't have many of these black characters because it's mostly white creators who create them. And then on top of that, you now are not going to get white voice access to voice. I'm like, my guy, come on. <laughs> you see, because then my thing is this is that, okay, if you're going to have all white voice actors, then just make all the characters white. They just make it called the character white, then then there's no point in having a black character. So we have to understand where this is coming from. Um, this isn't coming from a case of uh, oh, we just I mean I'm, because again, it's back to the original point of it should just be about who is the most talented. But if it's about who is the most talented, that would mean that we live in a fair world. So people saying that it shouldn't matter what race people are, are people who live in, in a bubblegum world and people who live in who believe that li they, they, they live in a world where it's really all about your talents, where it's not about your talents. I always say this, say this to people, we live in a world of um, um, where, I mean, what's, what's, I call it racial association. That's the best way. Racial association. We more closely associate with people who look like us. That's just a fact. <laughs> so you can deny it. that's just a fact. Is that people who look like us, we connect with that a lot more. So if I am a white cartoonist, I most likely will make characters that are white, and I will mostly hire white voice actors. I may hire a black voice actor. I may make a black character, but mostly because I'm white. I have to do stuff that relates to me, and most likely I will hire people that relate to me. That's just that's that, that's that, that's just the, the the reality. So, so for, see and see the issue I have with the Cleveland thing is, 
why would you it's it's just it doesn't make sense <laughs> because cleveland is a black character so it isn't as if he's some kind of special being or maybe he's a he's a wizard or a spectral thing where you now want to get like a very creative voice where okay, he's black but he's black in the red no he's just a regular black guy so for a regular black guy why would you have a white guy voice him it's, it makes it's it makes no sense it makes no sense because the thing cuz cuz when you look at a samurai jack or even like PC Darth Vader let's now let's be that let's be real let's be real see samurai jack for me even when I look at Samurai Jack, I don't even know what, what race that guy is. Samurai Jack is, see, see for me, Samurai Jack, he's, he's, he's like a warrior, you know? So they want to fill a mouth voice because Samurai Jack is not a regular dude. He's not a regular dude. He's a warrior, and they want a specific warrior's voice. So he, and he's a, he's a very special, specific kind of guy. He, Samurai Jack is not a regular dude. Darth Vader isn't, he's, a, he's, he's, he's half robot. So they're bringing in James L. Jones to do Darth Vader's voice because you want an amplified voice. He's not a Darth Vader is not a, Darth Vader is not a regular white dude. So the Darth Vader doesn't work. He's not a regular white dude. He's amplified. He's Darth Vader. Once he now once they now take off his mask, then it's different. Then it's, 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 it's then you now see, see who he is. But for this Cleveland character, he's a regular black guy. Okay, and even when you hear his voice, the voice sounds crap. The voice sounds like a white guy trying to mimic the voice of a African American. <laughs> That's what it sounds like, you know. Because I always say, like, you know, if you close your eyes and you listen to Gary Oldman do Drexel's voice in True Romance, you probably say, oh, "Okay, that's not that's that's actually not a bad rendition because it's Gary Oldman is ridiculous talented." But they just got a white guy from the road. It's just from the street, just drag a white guy from the road saying, Yo, please do the, the, the voice of this black black dude. <laughs> so that's a situation thing. But just the bottom line here is this people that have issues with this don't live in the real world. And people that say it, <laughs> that it, it is just about your talents and, and, and that's all that matters. No, it's not about that. People hire people who look like them. People hire people who they associate with. So most white guys who don't really come in close proximity to, to black people who don't have mostly black friends, you're going to hire people who you feel most comfortable with. Most white people feel comfortable with other white people. Most black people feel comfortable with other black people. You know, if you're the, if you're the only black guy in a place full of white people, most black people, you'd feel uncomfortable like I, like, like I would. So that's so that's just the thing. So, but the, the whole <sighs> should they step down? <laughs> For me, the damage is already done. And in my point of see, because I can only get my honest response. My honest response. My honest response is, I don't give a damn. Like, I don't care because I don't watch. Also called Big Mouth or something on Netflix. I don't, I, I don't care, you know, because because I think she said that oh, because she's half white, she thought that oh, okay, well, um, I should be do because and see, Tina, she has a point. She does have a point because if the character is half, see, the Cleveland thing is stupid, but for the Jenny Slate thing, the character is half white, half half black. And her half white side is Jewish, and in the states is, is is Jewish, so she does have a point. But be, because of the stupid world we live in, that character is seen as black. She's viewed as black, so therefore, it may be the right thing if you have a black voice speaking through it, you know. Um, and but 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 just my thing is just specifically for the people who are so ignorant to be like, oh, who cares? It doesn't matter. Why can't a white guy do this? Why can't a black guy do this? Let me say this right now. If they were making, if they were making a Star Wars series, Luke Skywalker as the main character, Luke Skywalker as the main character, Mister White of White, Luke Skywalker as the main character. Do you really think that they would cast a black guy to voice Luke 
Skywalker's voice. And they would say to a black guy, you know, can you just make your voice a bit <laughs> so just maybe make your voice a bit Caucasian to do the, the character of Luke Skywalker? You know, and just think about it. How many black voice actors voice the character of regular white dudes? And I'll leave you with this. I will leave you with this. If I can find it, I will I will leave you with this because this this is a great way to, to, to end it. Um if I could just find it, this is a great way to end it. Yeah. <laughs> You, love, you, you, you will love this. Wait, wait. Um, this is a great way to end this. Yeah. <laughs> now. See, if you've watched Boondocks, you already know. If you've watched Boondocks, you already know. So for those who haven't watched Boondocks, can you guess, you would assume that way. Yeah. It's a two white guys, voiced by white. White voice actors. No. These are two white guys voiced by Samuel L. Jackson and Charlie Murphy. But Aaron Magruder didn't tell Samuel L. Jackson and, and Charlie Murphy to turn a white voice. The beauty of these characters is these are two white guys voiced by black voice actors in their black voice. So it's Samuel and ja Jackson sounding like Samuel L. Jackson, Charlie Murphy sounding like Charlie Murphy because that's just part of the joke that they're doing for this, okay? And anybody that says, oh no, that's, oh, that's reverse racism, screw you, F you, piss off. But you see, the thing here is you're not gonna, you're not, there's no situation of you getting black voice actors to voice white characters and trying to act white for them. <laughs> that's, People are not really bringing that them onto it unless you're just trying to be to to do like a mockery, like white chicks. So for the Cleveland thing, are you doing it to? Because the only way you're bringing a white guy to not put in black voices, you're just doing it as as mockery. <laughs> you're doing it as 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 more mockery. But because here, them getting black guys. But see, the, the the funny thing about this, which is which makes this better than Cleveland, is no sound like accident really more. Acting as themselves. <laughs> so, hey, man, fuck this shit, man. Come on, man. Well, so, voice with this guy. So, it just makes it funny. But, yeah. <laughs> People just have to deal with the reality. You just have to deal with the reality, you know. And I just think, at the end of the day, big mouth, family guy, all these things, go watch Boondocks, man. 